Hey guys, Real Nice Guyana here again with another Real Nice recipe. Today we're going to be making fried okra or okra. And these are the following ingredients we're going to be needing for this recipe. First of all, we have the okras there. It's two packs like this here. They're each about half a pound. So it's going to be about one pound of okras. And we're going to be using about five stems of shallot half an onion, one tomato, one very very pepper optional. We're going to be adding some shrimp to this as well but of course you can leave the shrimp out and this will be a very nice vegetarian recipe. We're also going to be using four cloves of garlic and salt to taste. So I know a lot of people don't like okros because it's too slimy but there's just a few steps you can take to minimize the sliminess and we're going to show you what those are okay guys so let's begin so the first step we're going to wash the okros and then we're going to dry that off before we cut it up so to minimize the sliminess of this okra guys after washing it we're now going to dry it off like that You want to take away as much water as possible and you can individually wipe them off like that with a paper towel or if you have a cloth. So after drying these off now you're going to cut them up like this here. So these here are completely dry now. So we're going to be mincing the garlic and the pepper in this mortar here. Okay guys, so because we are adding shrimp here now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the shrimp to this dry pan here. So we're going to burn out the water from the shrimp here. This is raw shrimp. As I said, you can make this a very nice vegetarian dish without the shrimp. So this is just for about half a minute or so to burn out the water from that. And then we're going to put this aside to add to the okras later, okay? So we have about two to three tablespoons of oil in this pan here which we've heated. And Okra needs a bit more oil than other vegetables. So we're going to add our seasoning there now. There's a shallot. And a tomato. We're also going to add the minced garlic and pepper here. This smells so delicious guys. Bringing out all the flavors from the tomato, the onions, the shallot. Okay guys, so after about a minute or so, once this, all the seasonings have released all the flavors, we're gonna add the okra in there now. We're going to mix that all in. So the first step, as I said, to reduce the sliminess to this okra is that we washed it, drying it off. 
Now the second step would be to cook this on copper because if you cook it covered that's going to produce steam which is going to drop into the okra there and cause it to be slimy. And the other thing that you do to minimize the sliminess is the salt. When you add salt to any vegetable it brings out a lot of juices from the vegetable which is going to cause it to be more slimy. So we're going to add the salt towards the end of this dish. You don't want to add it too late because it's just going to overpower the dish but as close to the end as possible. Don't add it now or too early because that's going to add to the sliminess. Okay guys? So we're just going to leave this here now and let it cook and we'll see you. We also going to add the shrimp here now. And in Guyanese cooking, we usually add the shrimp early because the shrimp usually flavors the main ingredient, which is the okra here now. The shrimp is usually overcooked in Guyanese dishes, okay? So now we're going to let this cook, guys. Okay guys, so another yet another step to reduce the sliminess in this okra is that you can add some vinegar here. This is about 5 minutes since we started. So we're going to add some vinegar here. Just a tablespoon. You can also add some lime juice or lemon juice to this as well which will help to cut the sliminess also. And that's looking good. You also want to spread out your okros in the pan as thinly as possible. That also helps it helps to reduce the sliminess. Okay guys. It's been 20 minutes since we started cooking this here. And we've added a little vinegar. As you can see there's not much sliminess in this okro. Look at that. So those are the steps you can take to reduce the sliminess. And your okro is going to come out perfect. So we now gonna add the salt here because it's almost done. And to this we're adding about one tablespoon. So some like their okros like this here as it is here, this color. But we're gonna cook this for a little bit more to get it a little bit more brown. And then it'll be done already, guys. So I'm gonna take a taste here, guys. Mmm, yummy. Nice. Very good. I love okros. And this here is perfect. Not too slimy. And the salt is okay here. Okay guys, so this is about ready. Okay guys, so this okra, fried okra is done and ready. And here it is, as you can see it's still piping hot. And it is not as slimy very nice and as I said this is a very nice vegetarian dish as well without a shrimp of course and if you like this recipe guys please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe 
when you subscribe you get a notification in your email for every video that we post so you don't miss any please share this video and as always guys thank you for watching see you later bye